Well, howdy. My tan looks so orange right now. Uh, but is it really this orange in person? Kind of. There's also a red car in front of me, so let's hope that that has a factor to play in it as well. But hello. Uh, I'm gonna go to Latvia. I have just been driving for. Let me let me just turn off this engine for two hours and thirty-seven minutes to get to Dublin Airport and I couldn't get a parking space for a while but I'm here obviously I'm parked and I am going to Riga Latvia with two of my friends from college and yeah that's what's happening right now I thought I would maybe do a kind of travel vlog but not really but kind of We'll see what happens, but it is, what even time is it? It is 10 to three. My flight is at five past five. So, you know, traveling alone, it's kind of easier sometimes uh, because it's just yourself that you have to like look after. So I have my mini backpack and I also paid for a, uh, like a check-in bag because I'm going for like three days and I was not gonna try and put everything into a backpack. So stupid Ryanair. Yeah, I really have to pee. That's what happens when you drive for so many hours. Uh, but I'm also going to continue drinking more water. And yeah, I had a bit of a migraine earlier. That was not good. I was like, I don't have time for this today, but it's fine. We're fine now. Uh, yeah, my hands are destroyed with fake time. So cute. We'll get this party started. Except airports are not a party. They're just airports. It's anime from the future. This is where we begin the voiceover. My original plan for how I was gonna edit this video didn't exactly work out. So we're doing it this way and then I'll be voicing over all of the clips. I'm also going to be putting a blog post together on all the things we did in Riga because it's actually an incredible city to visit and I would definitely recommend it. So I'm gonna be putting a list of all the places that we ate, had coffee, things we did, and I will have that linked below as soon as it is up and running. But you should definitely follow me on Instagram because I'll probably post about it on there too. So let's start day one in Riga. The first thing we did was head over to the corner house, which is the KGB building and the Museum of the Occupation of Latvia. And we took a guided tour of that. Definitely would recommend doing this just to put into context the history of Latvia and of Riga and really what the city has gone through. From there, we headed over to the Skyline Bar and we actually just took the elevator up and elevator down because there's two and one looks at Old Town and one looks at the new part of town. So that's something you'll see in a lot of guidebooks and you know, it's cute. Then we headed over to this place called Meat Coffee. This was amazing, would definitely recommend. I'm pretty sure it's a vegan place uh, and it was just amazing. And apparently the coffee was very good. I drink tea though. <laughs> then we walked past Robert's books and we decided to stop to stop in there and it is a cafe bar and a used bookshop and it is just so so cute and um you can see on my instagram i have a photo sitting outside there when we were joking around um then we walked through the old town and we or was it in the old town this was another smaller christmas market that we walked through there were lots of bunnies it was very cool and then this is an Orthodox cathedral that we went inside, but of course I couldn't film inside, but would definitely recommend stopping by there if you can. Uh, then we just walked through the town on our way to the Christmas market. Um, obviously the Christmas market's not gonna be there all the time, but it was when we were there because it was like the end of December, start of January. They had a very cute little Christmas market. Um, it was small but I got some garlic roasted almonds and they were delicious and for dinner we went to folk clubs a la Pagrab so it's just kind of known as Ala, and it was such a cool place I think it looks like um the bar from Beauty and the Beast was what I was saying at the time and they were laughing at me but it's just so cool it's in a cellar and the price is very very good especially for like the experience it's a really cozy spot and just a really nice place would definitely recommend it then we headed over to black magic which is a really cool place that's like magic themed it's a chocolatier bar cafe and we sampled some of the um 
local black balsam you can see the little shot there some of the girls tried it and it's so cool it's magic themed it looks like something out of harry potter and then there's fun little magic things that happen around the place uh, just randomly while you're sitting there eating and would definitely recommend that again for such a novelty place a very reasonable price then we headed over to central market this is our second day and this is new year's eve central market is on all of the must see lists but i wouldn't think it's an absolute must see like it's very cool stop by if you can give it a go eat some delicious treats but there were just too many you know fish and meat markets for my liking so uh yeah would recommend it but it's not the biggest thing then we headed to house of the blackheads which is like a used to be a meeting place for all big traders and it was like a fraternity i believe um very cool there's a cellar which is the only original part as most of it was destroyed um during world war ii this is an unfortunate part of Riga's history um but it's still beautiful what has been restored and rebuilt it's very opulent and just really nice to walk around um there aren't a huge amount of museums like this in Riga but this is the main one and would definitely recommend stopping by there um entry for all these places was very reasonable uh i feel like it may have been five euro maybe to go in here um and it was just a really nice spot to take a break from the cold as well because it was cold it wasn't desperately cold but it was, it was pretty cold <laughs> then we went to oma's brilliance for lunch and this is a very cool spot i think it would be really fun at night but we were just there for lunch and it's all like couches and really cozy then we just fooled around because the waiting line was too long for um the tower so we headed over to illusion rooms riga after stopping by our hostel and we just honestly we're just joking around for a bit um, we wanted to do something just easy and fun before heading out that night and it was just a cool place there was a mirror maze obviously all the different illusion things you'll probably see some on my instagram on my riga highlight and there's a picture here we thought we looked like a girl band and it was really funny uh we went to il patio for our new year's eve dinner and then headed over to hedgehog in the fog a great bar but not really something i'm going to share on the internet <laughs> just i think that would be my best judgment so then we went to a street party which was really fun and we counted in the new year wait for it the street party was really like I would say compared to a lot of other European cities, I would say it was like it's really safe, really calm, really good atmosphere. Um, and the fireworks show was actually really good. Like fireworks are always just kind of like me, fireworks, but it was a really, really great fireworks show, I have to say. Um, and it was just like it was quite a family friendly event, I'd say, but it was just a fun time and they had good music and you know they had like a big stage and live performers and there was a rapper and he was great um so the last day it was just me and yana for most of the day and we walked around town and headed to saint peter's church and we went up into the tower this is something we had tried to do before and the line was too long and then it closed early so we had to do it on our last day thankfully we were able to get up there um it's a beautiful church it's a lutheran church you'll spot our man luther there boop in the painting in the corner <laughs> and um the views are beautiful from the top and what's one thing about Riga I think that's different or just nice to know is that it's like I think it's just as nice at any time of year because sometimes you go somewhere and you're like oh in the summer you'd be able to do this but I don't think the weather prevented us from doing anything which is something really different and nice about some cities like that uh, it was not desperately cold you would think it would be but it was actually fine then we stopped into 13 grizzly which we just got hot chocolates here but it was such a cozy little spot i just had to mention it um and we got they were really nice hot chocolates you know the little stirrer um it was just very relaxing and we were defrosting because it was very cold on top of the tower so we walked through the park on our way to the Art Nouveau district. The park, it's where the Liberation or the Freedom Monument is. And um, like the city is so clean. It's just really welcoming and 
walking around the park is just so nice and relaxing and it's right in the middle of the city um they have a, as you can see a cute little lock bridge and there's the liberation monument itself and ducks they were our friends that is what would be my like barbie dream house i think it might be the russian embassy but that's just another point <laughs> and then we were at the art nouveau district definitely worth a visit it's so beautiful we didn't get into the museum because it was closed that day but we had a good walk around we popped into one of the shops and i bought some cards and then we ate in holy moly before you know getting ready to head home those waffles were made out of potatoes and they were the lightest fluffiest thing i've ever eaten in my life and they're so delicious and i want to eat them again we also got some nachos um even for like a cool instagrammy looking place like this the price is still really good in Riga. That's all I can, I cannot say it enough. So from there, we just walked home. It was dark at this point because it's like Europe, like 5 p.m., 4 p.m. And we were back at the Treehouse Hostel, which is where we stayed. And I would definitely recommend it. It was a great hostel, um, really cozy, really clean, just overall great. Hey, it's anime from the future again. <laughs> I've been home for two days now and I thought I would just put a little outro on this video. I would definitely recommend Riga as a place to visit. It's probably not a place you hear of that often of people like suggesting to go, but I thought it was so great and we had a great time. I definitely recommend pretty much all of the places we went to, all the places we ate and where we stayed and everything. So we'll have some of those things linked down below, but I'm hoping to put those, as I said before, in a blog post. So I'll have that blog post linked down below as well and that'll have all the recommendations and things like that in it other than that i hope you enjoyed this video i hope if you're going to riga this helped you find things to do or maybe now you want to go if you are new to my channel hello be sure to subscribe and follow me on instagram at anime.yt and i will see you in my next video